Hi, my name is Patrick. This video should tell you about the XLRI PGDM program, which is one year program. It's called a 15 months course, but we say executive MBA or a one year course. So whether you should apply or not, okay, let's try to understand. It. So we do run classes for the CAT and the other entrance exams. We do this for people who are preparing for CAT and ZAT, but anyone can, but this is specifically for the course, which is we are talking about the ZAT management course. Now, if you look at the XLRI program, it's one of the oldest executive MBA programs, started in 1997. It is a 15-month full-time residential program. And it's known, you can say executive MBA, you can know as GMP or the GM program, PGDM GM. The general management course, so one 15 months course. So you need to be there in the college 15 months and pass. Obviously, it's a full-time course, there are placements, so you get amazing placements. So let's look at the placements and whether you should really apply and eligibility. So if you look at the batch size, I mean, it has last two years, it has been around 113, 114. And those who opted for placements, 108, 12. So you can opt out for placements. We feel already you have, you know, a business running or something. Highest package, if you look at last year, 80.35 lakhs with a median salary of 27.25 lakhs. So it's compares with the two year MBA program. So you can finish your course in one year, uh, 15 months, and you get a higher than NP placements. So most of the recruiters were from IT, ITS, and the function wise of recruitment was consulting. So this is regarding the placement. So good placements, so average or median salary of 27.5 lakhs is a good option. So if you do well, I've had students who have gone to GMP program, I've got really good placements. So I don't see a problem in getting. So average age of students getting is 29 years and the average work ex is six to seven years of students. Okay, the eligibility criteria is that you need minimum five years experience. I mean, most of the students have just crossed the eligibility criteria. Because when you say average of six to seven, there'll be a lot of students will be higher. That means there are a lot of students also who have just crossed the eligibility criteria. So if you're someone who has five years experience, I think should apply for the course. I don't see a problem. All right. So what we, you have to give us that 2024, or you can write a GMAT or GRE I mean, and take an interim between 2020 and 23. That's the deadline. So you can give the ZAT scores, that is in January, or GMAT or GRE score if you're given both examinations. Should you apply? It depends on what are your future plans. Since most of the placements are IT, ITS, look at it. But there is also consulting role, finance role, etc., which are there. Good options. Normally, what happens if you have relevant work experience, you definitely get a better placement. I mean, you get relevant because I know people, a couple of people who are in from banks who went for this program and they managed to get into one of the top companies banks which are there, I mean foreign banks and did good roles as such. Um, so it helps you to grow. Okay. Look at all options. I mean normally when you have a higher work exit, it makes sense to do a one year course rather than a two year course has an advantage. But normally what I say is apply for all the cases. I mean apply for one year course, two year course, wherever you get a better option, take it up. So what are the dates which are there? Um, academic session begins in April. So you will have registration which has started. I mean July 5th. And uh, it will close for ZAT examination in November 30. If you're giving GMAT GRE, it closes on December 31st. And we, as we looked at what is the GMAT GRE validity, and ZAT exam is on Jan 7. If you look at it, there are rounds of interview. The first round of interview starts in mid-September, mid-October. People who apply early, maybe to GMAT GRE scores, they'll be called earlier. This is all to GMAT scores, GMAT GRE scores. The last will be to ZAT scores, first round. So initial first four rounds are focused on GMAT because they held before the ZAT exam is conducted. And the last round will be through the ZAT round. Right? Uh, so if you're interested, I think it's a good option to take it up. Do apply for it if you're eligible, if you have five years more than experience. And then you can later on decide whether you want to take it up or not by talking to the students and talking to the alumni. Thank you.